Yo, it's me, Chris. How you guys doing? It's a special occasion today. It's October 31st! Whoa. Sunday! Nice. 2021. Awesome. Halloween. Ooh. And I'm wearing the orange shirt, of course, you know, Ooh, in good fashion. Yeah, look at that. We got that pumpkin orange shirt with the holes in it. Yeah, look, the holes are getting bigger. Oh, it's a Swiss cheese shirt now. Yeah, it's dissolving, but I'm okay with it. I'm with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King of the Tamiers, a.k.a. Woo! Built different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain. Woo! Himself in the flesh, I am here. And today, we have a treat for you. Not a trick, but a treat. We're going to be watching Night of the Living Dead. This movie is special because it's free domain. There's no copyright on it. So hopefully, we can upload the entire reaction, audio and visual, with no complications at all, with uh, the whole copyright system. And if you want an edited version, fuck you. I ain't doing it. No, we love you, but fuck you. Yep, I love you, but fuck you. Yeah, you could skim through it. <laughs> what, what else do you do with YouTube videos? You skim through it to the You guys could do my job for me. You skim <laughs> through it instead. <laughs> but uh, on a serious note, thank you guys for supporting us for this long. Like, uh, we did October just horror films, and they didn't do well, honestly. No, they, 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 honestly, they did pretty shit. We noticed, but we don't care. It was fun to do them, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, we're not going to abandon ship. We're going to keep sailing away. We're going to play with abandon and everything, even though it's going down. That's just how we roll. Well, we have no choice. We are neither woman or child. We have to die in the ship. We don't get oh, the rights to leave. Oh, shit, you're right. Well, yeah, we're kind of fucked. Yeah, so either way, we wouldn't get off the ship. True. But on that note, that's what we're doing. So thank you guys again. Thank you guys all. again, you know, for subscribing. Even the people on the Patreon, you're beautiful bastards. Yeah, we've been doing uh, uh, Squid Game exclusively on there, which has been fun. Very good. We want to watch more episodes. We're on, like, episode five. Really good show. We're pretty much halfway through the show. Yeah, it's very good. So, anyways, we're done shilling. I think we're just going to hop right into Actually, the no. Subscribe, you guys. Uh, if you haven't, please You just said that. Oh, did we? You just did. Oh, did I? Yeah. Well, just do it again. Wait, that means they unsubscribe. Don't do it again. If you've already hit subscribe, don't do it again. Just hit the bell. Make sure you did that. All right? Now we can get on the movie. I'm sorry about that. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to get in the movie. Uh, get him something spooky. Scare, scare him a little bit. Something spooky? Yeah, a little something, something spooky. spooky. Yeah! Now, ah, oh, beautiful black and white, baby. Oh, no, it's not our first black and white movie. No, we did one before? Yeah, the Japanese one. The oh, Gamer yeah. Gal, I think it was, wasn't it? You're right. It was someone else. No, you're right. It was that Japanese film. It was very good, About too. the Blind Swordsman? Samurai was nice as hell. But uh, here we are with um, Night of the Living Dead. I got the idea from Cinemassacre. Yeah. James Rolfe, aka Angry Video Game Nerd. He did a commentary video in four to three parts of this film. Never watched it, I will after seeing this. Yeah. But it, it's what gave me the idea just doing this for Halloween Day as a special little upload. So, uh, yeah. Here it is. George Romero. The legend himself. The absolute legend. It's a nice car. It is. Man, I loved how in these earlier films, like, uh, these beginning credits are incredibly long. And I like how they always find a way to drag it out perfectly. Like, we're watching the car get to the destination. Yeah, they, they always had a smart way of implementing it, right? Mm hmm Cemetery. Why does it look like it got shot, that sign? Yeah, right? It's oh like a lot of bullet holes in there. What the hell? I hope it's just rust. I like the song, too. The music? Again, it really gives off that ominous feel, right? Yeah. Alright, finally he's pulling up into the cemetery. They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. 
Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, three it hours? Really bugged you, Johnny. You wouldn't do it. You think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like this? You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. She can't make a trip like this. Oh, I don't know that she can. Is there any of that candy left? Candy? No. Look at this thing. We still remember. I don't. You know, I don't <laughs> remember what the man looks like. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five good. minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. Yeah. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John, all right? Damn. That is some dedicated for, like, the mother. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems. Well, who cares? Not his problem. Nope. This John guy, though, he seems like uh, the life of the party. Let's put it at that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the radio. Must have been the station. Which row is it in? sleep on the time change. I think you complain just to hear yourself talk. <laughs> there it is. Oh, he does complain a lot, man. Jesus. But I can relate. True. I wonder what happened to the one from last year. Each year we spend good money on these things. We come out here, and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers what? die, and the caretaker or somebody takes them away. Yeah, a little spit and polish, you can clean this up. Sell it next year. Wonder how many times we bought the same one. Dude, this guy's such a buzzkill. Yeah. You can tell he does not want to be here. Yeah. Well, it's six hours driving. Like, I can't blame him. Somebody's got to do it. He doesn't want to be him. Hey, come on, Barb. Church was this morning, huh? This guy, dude. Holy shit. Hey, I mean, praying's for church, huh? Come on. I haven't seen you in church lately. <laughs> well, there's not much sense in my going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you'll be damned to hell. <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. Well, you're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. Come on, man, let it go. Oh, shit, he's not letting They're it go. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. He's You're such acting an like a child. <laughs> They're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. Oh, my God. <laughs> He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny. Is that actually a zombie? Oh, no! oh shit! No! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Was oh, he getting? Oh, not the glasses! John can't see. Oh, okay. Choke slam him. Holy shit! That oh. guy got up quick. Wait, this zombie's actually putting up a fucking fight. What? Wait. Is John dead? Wait, what? 
Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, he's got spaghetti legs. Oh, the trip! Does too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic trip. Oh, and the shoe's coming off, Nice. Too. Fuck the shoes, okay. Wait, does she have the keys? No, John was driving. Oh, shit. Oh, he's really going at the car, man. Jeez. Oh, go on the other side. Okay. Wait, what? Holy shit! Is it actually a zombie? Yeah, now I'm second guessing. Unless they're just... They're very... Smart zombies? Oh, she released the... Yeah, the brake. Oh, no. I mean, you don't have much of a choice in this situation. I like how she literally just leaves John. I mean, he seemed kind of not there, you know what I mean? A little R.I.P.? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. The he's other door, the other door. He's shambling quickly. He's shambling really fucking fast, dude. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. My God. Dude, he can shamble a marathon. Look at him. Woo! The actor they got for the, well, I assume is the zombie. Yeah. Does a great job. That's the way his body is. Like it's like a little hunched. The way the legs yeah, are. Yeah, he's very limp, kind of looking the way he's moving, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's the way his legs are. It's really good. Oh, was that like a farmhouse? Yeah. Exactly where you want to be. Oh shit. No one's home? He's coming. Uh oh. She got inside. Nice. It's gonna be awkward that you know you kind of entered their home. Sorry, I broke in. I like how she wasn't even screaming a lot or nothing. It was more so that they let the music kind of tell the story. Yeah. The music gave you the uh, the sense like oh the sense of fear the sense of danger yeah anxiety like you're being chased and such it's actually pretty cool it's more quiet I already miss John dude he was funny yeah I liked John ooh you're walking around someone else's home with a massive knife. Yeah, that's kind of sketchy. You better hope they don't find you looking like that. Well, just better hope there's no one there, because, like... <laughs> Anyone home? Uh-oh, taxidermy. Is it taxidermy? Yeah. Oh, uh, you think like the, the trophies for the heads? Yeah, I'd imagine so. Okay, I don't know, dude. I'm not an expert. Oh, that guy's still shambling outside. <laughs> Look at him. Oh. Uh-oh. No laundry for you. Dude, yeah. Fuck the laundry. He even pulled the rope out? Yeah. So, zombies, I'm so used to them being stupid, but... They like, have some form of competence, like competence. These ones. Yeah. I mean, if they got trophies, they have guns, right? If 
they hunt? Maybe. Oh! Oh my god. Here he is! Woo! Shit, there's more! Okay. He's like, yo, what's up, guys? Got some fresh food. Just running around with a knife like that scares me, dude. Right? Like, if you make one wrong move and you fall, dude... <laughs> yep. Whoa, Whoa! Shit! Oh! Did okay, she drop the knife? No, she still got oh, it. She still got it. Oh, never mind. She's got amazing grip strength. No, you don't want to go out there. Okay, she found a friend. Well, more like he found her. True. Don't worry about him, I can handle him. Probably be a lot more of them as soon as they find out about us. The truck is out of gas. This pump out here is locked. Is there a key? We can try to get out of here if we can get some gas. Is there a key? I suppose you've tried this. That she has. Do you live here? I hope that thing doesn't come back. Oh, the thing she... Oof. Yeah. That ugly sucker. We've got to get out of here. We have to get to where there's some other people. take some food. I'll Good idea. I can find some food. Very smart. She's like still in complete shock. She can't even communicate. Oh, he's oh. dripping. Oh, ew. Did they break his headlights? Yeah. There are two of them out there. Have you seen any more around here? I can take I care of those know. two. I don't know. I know, know you're afraid, but we have I to... don't know! I don't know! What's happening? I'm pretty sure being loud is not going to help anybody. No, but... Oh. Yeah. Get his ass! Bang! Woo! Nice. Oh, there's more than two out there. Yo, dude. Watch out. Oh, damn. He's quick. Nice. Oh. 
Oh! Wait, he's inside? Yeah, I think he opened the back door or something. They're very smart zombies, though. Breaking, like, the headlights and whatnot. Yeah, it's actually quite impressive. I wonder why they dumb them down nowadays. Like, zombies are just so stupid. Yep, time to move quick. Alright. Oh no! No, the tire iron! Get him! Oh, he just stabbed the tire iron to his head! Oh. Ooh! Alright, let's go. Straight up impaled him. Another! Four of them! Yo, my man needs a break! Oh. Oh. Jesus. It looks like that. Oh, oh my god! Shit. Is there like five or six out there? Yeah. Jeez. Alright, so there's no leaving this place. I know we're in here now. Wait, is he not dead? Is he so alive? Oh, yeah. Don't look at it. Interesting. Oh, he's like, here, take your friend. Yeah. You got a little too crazy tonight, guys. Yep. Oh, he's gonna light him on fire? Yeah. Kind of like a warning. But near the house? Yeah, that part's kind of sketchy, but I think he's just... Okay, so they're afraid of fire. Alright. Yeah, I guess they don't like fire? No. That's probably inspired from uh, Frankenstein, right? Possibly, I don't know. But fire's bad. Dude, she seems so lost. Oh my god. She's still trying to process what's going on, right? She's trying to, like, find a way to accept it. Oh, he's got more weapons. Yo, it's hammer time. Wait, wait, please don't touch the knife like that. Oh, is he gonna board up the, the house? Not a bad idea. Why don't you see if you can find some wood, some boards, something about the fireplace, something we can nail this place up. try to board the house up together. Now, I'm going to board up the windows and the doors. Do you understand? We'll be all right here. We'll be all right here until someone comes to rescue us. But we'll have to work together. You'll have to help me. Now, I want you to go in and get some wood so I can board the place up. Do you understand? Okay? Okay? Dude, much respect for him, man. Like, he almost exploded, but he just, like, brought it all together quick. Yep. Very smart. I can understand the frustration. Like, she's just like... Well, again, you know, she's trying to, like, mentally collect herself and to accept what's happening right now. You don't want them to know you're in here any more than they already do. 
Yeah, I don't know if music is the wave, but... He's got a whole damn door. Oh. Oh, he's just gonna rip that off the bottom. Nice. Yeah. Very smart. He's acting so quickly. He's very resourceful. Like I like how he asked her, could you please find some wood? And she, well, he found it himself. Um, she found a music box. <laughs> they can board that against the door. Okay. Well, here we go. I love how he's literally using a whole door to barricade a door. Brilliant. Hey if one door doesn't work, you gotta use two doors. Double the door, double the defense. Oh, okay, she's helping. Nice. Yeah. Are these nails, like, long enough? Yeah, they look, they look like long nails. gonna have to use a lot of them. Nice. No, that's wrong. I wish you could find some nails. Pick out the biggest ones you can find. I like this guy. If there was ever a zombie apocalypse, I want to be with him. Quick thinking. You have to also think how long has he been in this situation? Maybe he's been. Like it, uh, he's been going through this a little longer. There's a place back out the road called Beatman's, Beatman's Diner. Using the table. Anyhow, that's where I found that truck I have out there. There's a radio in the truck. A radio, nice. I had jumped in to listen to it. When a big gasoline truck came screaming right across the road. But there must have been 10, 15 of those things, chasing after it, grabbing and holding on. Now, I didn't see them at first. I could just see that the truck was moving in a funny way. And those things were catching up to it. The truck went right across the road. I slammed on my brakes to keep from hitting it myself. Went right through the guardrail. Damn. I guess. I guess the driver must have cut off the road into that gas station by Beekman's Diner. It went right through the billboard, ripped over a gas pump, and never stopped moving. By now it's like a moving bonfire. Holy shit. Didn't know if the truck was going to explode or what. Still hear the man screaming. This thing is just backing away from us. I look back at the diner to see if, if there was anyone there who could help me. It was when I noticed that the entire place had been encircled. Oh, shit. There wasn't a sign of light left. Except by now there were no more screams. Oh. I realized that I was alone with 50 or 60 of those things just standing there staring at me. That's a lot. I, I started to drive. I just plowed right through them. 
Oh, damn. They didn't move. They didn't run or... Just stood there, staring at me. Yeah, that's freaky. Just wanted to crush them. They scattered through the air like bugs. We were riding in the cemetery. Johnny and me. Johnny. We came to put a wreath on my father's grave. Johnny and, and he said, can I have some candy, Barbara? Um, we didn't have any. Okay. And, oh, it's hot in here. Yeah. And, and he said, oh, it's late. Why did we start so late? And I said, Johnny, if you'd gotten up earlier, we wouldn't be late. Johnny True. asked me Been if there. I were afraid. And I said, I'm not afraid, Johnny. And then... This man started walking up the road. He came slowly, and Johnny kept teasing me and saying, he's coming to get you, Barbara. And I laughed at him and said, Johnny, stop it. And then Johnny ran away. And I, I went up to this man, and I was going to apologize. Why don't you just keep calm? And I looked up. And I said, could he? And he grabbed me. He grabbed me. And he ripped at me. He held me and he ripped at my clothes. I think you should just calm down. Oh, oh I screamed, Johnny! Johnny, help me! Oh, help me! And he wouldn't let me go. He ripped. And then Johnny came and he ran and he had, he fought this man. And I got so afraid, I ran, I ran, I ran. And Johnny didn't come. We've got, to, we have to wait for Johnny. Johnny's potentially dead. Yeah. Go out and get him. No. Bad we idea. We have to go out and get Johnny. Not good idea. He's out there. Please, don't you hear me? We've got to go out and get him. Please! We have got to go get Johnny! Please help me! Please! Oh God, calm down. Jesus oh, Christ. You know what's going on out there? This is no Sunday school picnic. Don't you understand? My brother is alone! Your brother is dead. No! Whoa. My brother is not dead! Whoa, 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 whoa. Barbara, calm down. Whoa! Oh, Sam! What the <laughs> fuck? Sam! Oh, he knocked her out! I don't know, I think he just knocked some sense into her. Like... She was going a little, you know... Yeah, she hit him first. It's like, you know what? Don't do that. This guy's trying his best to keep you both alive. He's been helping you tremendously. And you give him a, a, a smack in the face. Like, come on. I mean, she wants to go see if her brother's okay, but... He's so dead. It's weird because... It, it didn't look like he died, but... By now, he's probably dead. Yeah, at this point, he's been found and feasted upon. Yeah. But I can't believe he actually fucking hit her. Oh, I mean, I didn't think he was gonna knock her the fuck out, dude. Hey, man, that's the 60s. <laughs> because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air, day and night. This station and cool. hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through an emergency network hookup to keep you informed of all developments. At this hour, we repeat, these are the facts as we know them. There is an epidemic of mass murder being committed by a virtual army of unidentified assassins. The murders are taking place in villages, cities, 
and assassins? Did you say virtual assassins? Yeah. Explosion of mass homicide. We have some descriptions of the assassins. Eyewitnesses say they are ordinary looking people. Some say they appear to be in a kind of trance. Others describe them as being. Oh shit. Here they are. They're like touching the car a lot. So at this point there is no really It seems like these zombies are more like self aware of who they were before. You know, they actually know what these things are. They're not completely brainless and dumb. One of complete bewilderment at this hour. So far we have been unable to determine that any kind of organized investigation is yet underway. Police, sheriff deputies, and emergency ambulances are literally deluged with calls for help. But the scene can best be described as mayhem. Mayors of Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and Miami, along with the governors of several eastern and midwestern states, have indicated the National Guard may be mobilized at any moment, but that has not happened as yet. The only advice our reporters have been able to get from official sources oh. is for private citizens to stay... Is he going to just light the chair on fire and kick it out? Do not That's venture the outside for any reason until the nature of this crisis has been determined and until we can advise what course of action to take. Keep listening to radio and TV any special instructions as this crisis develops oh from. he's gonna make a torch oh. office and factory workers are being urged to stay at their places of employment not to make any attempt to get to their homes however in spite cool. of this urging and warning streets and highways are packed with frantic people trying to reach their families or apparently to flee just anywhere we repeat the safest course of action at this time is simply to stay where you are Ooh. Very smart. Nice. Save some time and ward them off. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just received word that the president has called a meeting of his cabinet to deal with the sudden epidemic of murder which has seized the eastern third of this nation. The meeting is going right. to convene within the hour. Members of the presidential cabinet will be joined by officials of the FBI. Wow, he did a good job boarding this place up. As soon as possible, following that meeting. This is the latest dispatch just received in our newsroom. Latest word also from National Press Services in Washington, D.C. now tells us that the emergency presidential conference, which we've just mentioned, will include high-ranking scientists from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Damn. The extent of this latest meeting. There's a door there. Yeah, what was that? Was that like a basement door or something? All radio and TV stations in the country, including one which you were listening, have joined their facilities in an emergency. Yo, he knocked her out cold. My God. Yep. She's been out of it for a while now. To radio and TV and to stay indoors at all costs. Late reports reaching this newsroom tell of frightened people seeking refuge in churches, schools, and government buildings, demanding shelter and protection from the wholesale murder which apparently is engulfing much of the nation. Law enforcement officials are at a loss to explain all, even at this hour, even to theorize about the reasons for this wave of murder. So far, Dude, he looks tired as hell, man. Holy shit. Well, dude, how long do you think he's been boarding this place up, right? And lock their doors and windows up tight. We don't know what kind of murder happy characters we have here. And these chief gun are from Camden, North Carolina. So far, the only descriptions, the only clues anyone has of the killers come from right witnesses of some of the same. These eyewitness accounts very well describe the murderers as ordinary looking people, misshapen monsters, people who look like they're in a trance, and things that look Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Texas. 
victims. Similar killings have been reported around the Houston and Galveston areas, but nothing like the... I found a gun and some bullets out there. It was only late yesterday... Oh, and these. ...when it became clear we were facing some kind of national emergency. When first reports began filtering in, newsmen and law enforcement agencies were of the opinion... This place is boarded up pretty solid now. In nature. However, as these... We ought to be all right here for a while. ...dramatically, it was soon apparent... That we have a gun and bullets, food and the radio. Sooner or later, someone is bound to come and get us out. Hey, that's us. We're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, I don't know if he like. She looks pissed off, dude. I don't know, but like, it's like the Look, lights are on, but no one's here. home. But I'm going upstairs now. If anything should try to break in here, I can hear it from up there. I'll be down to take care of it. Everything is all right for now. I'll be back to reinforce the windows and doors later. But you'll be all right for now, okay? Okay. Yo. Civil defense officials yeah, she ain't having any of it, man. I hope she just doesn't do anything stupid. Transporting. Consistent reports from witnesses to the effect that people who acted as though they were in a kind of trance were killing and eating their victims prompted authorities to examine the bodies of some of the victims. Medical nice. authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murdered. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland, civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. Okay. And so this incredible story becomes more ghastly with each report. It's difficult to imagine such a thing actually happening but these are the reports we have been receiving and passing on to you. Reports which have been verified as completely as is possible in this confused situation. It is happening. And it would appear that no one is safe what? from this wave of mass murder. Oh, kids, more people. Holy shit. Where the fuck do they come from? I could use some help up here. That's the cellar. It's the safest place. You mean you didn't hear the racket we were making up here? How were we supposed to know what was going on? Could have been those things for all we knew. That girl was screaming. Sure, you must know what a girl screaming sounds like. Those things don't make any noise. Anybody would know somebody ever needed help. Look, it's kind of hard to hear what's going on from down there. We thought we could hear screams, but for all we knew, that could have meant those things were in the house afterwards. And you wouldn't come up and help. Well, if there were more, the racket sounded like the place was being ripped apart. How were we supposed to know what was going on? Now, wait a minute. You just got finished saying you couldn't hear from down there. Now you say it sounded like the place was being ripped apart. It would be nice if you'd get your story straight, man. All right, now you tell Ooh. me. I'm not going to take that kind of a chance when we got a safe place. We luck into a safe place, and you're telling us we got to risk our lives just because somebody might need help, huh? Yeah, something like that. All right, why don't we settle this, oh, mister? We came up, okay, we're here. Now I suggest we all go back downstairs before any of those things find out we're in here. They can't get in here. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. All but a few spots upstairs. They won't be hard to fix. You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm they get back in the fucking cellar. The cellar's not that you, safe, though. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. Now you tell me those, those things can't get through this lousy pile of wood? Wife and kids downstairs. Kids hurt. Well, I still think we're better off up here. 
Because the seller, you're trapped. Strengthen everything up, Mr. Cooper. With all of us working, we can fix this place up in no time. We have everything we need up here. We can take all that up downstairs with us. And you're really crazy, you know that? You got a million windows up here. All these windows, you're gonna you're gonna make them strong enough to keep these things out, huh? I told you those things don't have any strength. I smashed three of them and pushed another one out the door. Did you hear me when I told you they turned over our car? Oh, hell, any good five men can do that. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be twenty, thirty, maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. Well, if they're that many, they'll probably get us wherever we are. Look. Good point. The cellar. The cellar, there's only one door, right? Just one door, that's all we have to protect. Tom and I fix it so it locks and boards from the inside. Yeah, but you only have but one here, entrance and one exit. Windows, why, we'd never know where they were going to hit us next. You got a point, Mr. Cooper. But down in the cellar, there's no place to run to. I mean, if they did get in, there'd be no back exit. We'd be done for. Uh, we can get out of here if we have to. And we got windows to see what's going on outside. But down there with no windows, if a rescue party did come, we wouldn't even know it. But the cellar is the strongest place. The cellar is a death trap. I don't know, Mr. Cooper. I think he's right. You know how many's out there? I don't know. Maybe, maybe six or seven. Look, you two can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Cooper. Is there any food down there? I've made my decision, now you make yours. Now, wait a minute. Let's think about this. We can make it to the cellar if we have to. And if we do decide to stay down there, we'll need some things from up here. So let's at least consider this a while. Yo, for real, man. Mr. Cooper has to, like, you know... Watch yourself into oh, selling no. those things get in the house you've had it. At least up here you have a fighting chance. Yeah, it looks like about eight or ten out there now. There's more than there were. There are a lot out back, too. Oh shit! Whoa! Get your hands off him! Yo! Yeah! Get the fingers! Yeah, get your filthy hands off my house! Oh! Oh, oh. shit! Is he gonna start blasting? Come on, let's get a boom! Oh! that gun, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess that's the headshot. Yep, that's how we do it. Beautiful. Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh. Cool. Ah, these ones are more ugly, too. Ew, I don't eat the bug. Yeah, we eat in the bug. We gotta fix these boards. You're crazy. Those things are gonna be in every window and door in this place. We've got to get down into the cellar. Go down in that damn cellar. Get out of here! I'm, I'm taking the girl with me. You leave her here. Keep your hands off her. And everything else that's up here, too. Because if I stay up here, I'm fighting for everything up here. And the radio and the food is part of what I'm fighting for. Now, if you're going down the cellar, get! The man's insane. He's insane. We've, we've got to have food down there. We've got a right. This is your house. We've got a right! You going down there with him? Well, uh, yes or no, this is your last chance. No beating around the bush. L listen, I got a kid down there. She, she can't possibly... I couldn't bring her up here. She can't possibly take all the racket and those, those things smashing through the windows. Well, you're her father. If you're stupid enough to go die in that trap, that's your business. However, I am not stupid enough to follow you. Woo! man is so stupid. Now, get the hell down in the cellar. You can be the boss down there. 
I'm boss up here. Yo, I fucking like this guy. Dude, I love him. He's such a good character. Open this door again. I mean it. Mr. Cooper, with your help, we can... With my help. Let him go, man. His mind is made up. Just let him go. Wait a minute. Judy, come on up here, honey. You're gonna let them get hurt, too, huh? It's all right, honey. Go ahead. Places we can run to up here. Mr. Cooper, we'd all be a lot better off if all three of us were working together. What a stubborn hey. asshole. Yeah. Hey, kid. He's wrong, you know. I'm not boxing myself in down there. Well, we're safe now. It's boarded up tight. What about Tom and Judy? They want to stay up there and let them. There are two other people upstairs. A man and a girl. We heard the screaming. Yeah, but I didn't know who they were, and I wasn't about to take any unnecessary chances. Of course not, Harry. Uh-oh. What's wrong with his daughter? She's sick? Is she all right? I don't know what it is. She oh, she's walking. infected. Shock. Where'd you get the bandage? Some laundry in a basket. I tore a sheet. Oh my god, did she get bitten? Let them stay upstairs. Let them. Too many ways those monsters can get in up there. We'll see who's right. We'll see when they come begging me to let them in down here. That's important, isn't it? What? To be right, everybody else to be wrong. What do you mean by that? Uh oh. Oh, shit. That's probably been a problem in the, their relationship Does for a long ass here time. Know why we're being attacked? <sighs> Whatever it is, it isn't just happening here. It's some kind of mass murder. It's going on everywhere. The radio said to stay inside. Radio? Radio upstairs. I heard a news bulletin. There's a radio upstairs and you boarded us in down here? I know what I'm doing. What did it say? Nothing. Nothing. They don't know anything yet. There's mass murder everywhere and, and people are supposed to look for a safe place to hide. Take the boards off that door. We are staying down here, Helen. Harry, that radio is at least some kind of communication. If the authorities know what's happening, would they'll send people for us so they tell us what to do. How are we going to know what's going on if we lock ourselves in this dungeon? God damn, dude. We may not enjoy living together. There it is. But dying together isn't going to solve anything. Those people aren't our enemies. That's a good quote. Let's go up. Tom? Yeah. Oh. If Judy would come downstairs for a few minutes, Harry and I could come upstairs. Okay, yeah, right away. Dude, he's pissed. Do, do I have to? Look, honey, nothing's gonna get done with them down there and us up here. Do this for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, open up. He's way too hot-headed, this guy, Mr. Cooper. Holy shit. Yeah. He's very stubborn. Stubborn, very prideful and whatnot. His way or the highway kind of deal. Yeah, gotta be right. I'm just worried that now Judy's here, uh... She's gonna get killed. Yeah. I'll take good care of her, Helen. She's all I have. Uh, she's all you had. Why don't you go upstairs now? Hmm. My brother. 
brother was killed. Hey, give me a hand with this thing. I gotta go help Ben. Did he literally me. knock the sense out of her? Like, oh my god. No, I think she's kind of messed up. Like, her brother did get killed, as he just mentioned. Huh. So I think he's preparing Helen to be like, she's a little mentally unstable now. Yeah, very much so. That's a creaky chair. Don't be afraid of me. I'm Helen Cooper, Harry's wife. What? This place is ridiculous. Look at this. There's a million weak spots up here. Give me one of those. Her brother was killed. God, dude, stop complaining. Stop with the windows, Harry. My Why God. Why don't you do something to help somebody? Here I have it. Drag a couple of those chairs together. There's a socket over here. Now you better watch this and try to understand what's going on. I don't want anyone's life on my hands. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't want to hear any more from you, mister. If you stay up here, you take orders from me. And that includes leaving the girl alone. It's on, it's on. There's no sound. Play with the rabbit ears. It reports, incredible as they seem, are not the results of mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. What do they think we're imagining all this? Shut up! Get all parts of the country. The murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Officials and newsmen at first discounted those eyewitness descriptions as being beyond belief. However, the reports persisted. The medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured. Jesus. I think we have some late word of just arriving, and I'll interrupt to bring this to you. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us here to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. When this emergency first began, radio and television was advising people to stay inside, behind locked doors for safety. Well, that situation has now changed. We're able to report a definite course of action for you. Civil defense machinery has been organized to provide rescue stations with food, shelter, medical treatment, and protection by armed National Guardsmen. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. This list will be repeated throughout our news coverage. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. Oh, shit. We have that truck. We can get some gas. We can get out of here. There's a pump out by the shed. I know that's why I pulled in here, but it's locked. Emergency meeting called this afternoon by the president. Since convening, this conference of the presidential cabinet, the FBI, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CIA, has not produced any public information. Why are space experts being consulted about an earthbound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. 
That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then perp was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale oh, murders shit. we're now suffering? Oh. Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed those questions. It's obvious our best move is to try to get out of here. How are you going to get over to that pump? Look. Uh, you're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon? A, there's a definite connection, a definite connection. In other words, you feel that the radiation on the Venus probe is enough to call these, cause these mutations? There was a very high degree of radiation. Well, just a minute. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that that's certain at all. I don't that's think that has been the only logical uh, explanation that we have at this time. In other words, it is the military's viewpoint that this, the radiation is not the cause of the mutation. I can't speak for the entire military at this time, gentlemen. This seems to I be... must disagree with these gentlemen presently until we, uh, until this is irrefutably proved. Uh, everything is uh, being done that can be done. We'll have to hurry for our next meeting. Uh, uh, and professor, you feel that there is a definite connection between... A definite the... connection as far uh, as Dr. Keller and myself. Doctor, please. I, I thought we decided that is not proved yet. But, uh, was, it, where, was the satellite, uh, when the satellite was exploded... Oh, my God, dude. ...radiation enough to cause mutations... It's not leaving them be. ...could have uh, happened yeah, to yeah, have a bearing on it. It does seem to have a bearing. Yes. So it's will radiation be, from space that caused the zombies? Yes. I guess yes. space later chemicals made people into zombies. There will, be a, there will be a report this afternoon. Perhaps there will be yes, a report. Yes. A, a later, report. will you close the window? We have everything possible to solve the problem. You know, we have to try to get out of here. He said the rescue stations have doctors and medical supplies. If we could get Karen there, we could get help for her. Cosmo is one of the world's foremost authorities on space science and technology. Willard. I saw a sign that said Willard. It's only about 17 miles from here. You know this area. You from around here? Judy and I are both from around here. We were on our way up to the lake to go swimming. And Judy had a radio and we heard the first reports about this. So we knew the old house was here and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Then these other people came. We went down into the basement and put a bar across the door and it is pretty strong. How could we possibly get away from here? We've got a sick child, two women, one woman out of her head, three men, and the place is surrounded with this thing. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff I know has been working very hard to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Yes, we have some answers. Uh, but first, let me stress the importance of seeking medical attention for anyone who's been injured in any way. We don't know yet uh, what complications might result from such injury. How bad has your kid been hurt? Good advice, Doctor. Now, how about the basic um, Well, Look, you go down there and tell, you know, Judy, yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? Smart. Very smart. In the cold room at the university, uh, we had a cadaver. A cadaver from uh, which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. They watch upstairs. Did she ask for me? She had to do anything. I don't she understand. already dead? Baby. It's mommy. I heard. I'll come back down as soon as I find out what they want. Thank you, Judy. The body should be disposed of at once, preferably by cremation. Well, how long after mm. death, then, does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, no, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. The bodies must be carried to the street and, and, and burned. Uh, they must be burned immediately. Soak them with gasoline and burn them. The bereaved will have to forego the dubious comforts that a funeral service will give. Uh, they're just dead flesh and dangerous. I see. Judy, I need you to find some bed spreads or sheets to tear up into small strips, OK? Is there a fruit cellar here? Yes. We need some bottles or jars to make Molotov cocktails and hold them up while we try to escape. Hey, nice. there's a big can of kerosene down there. I'll see what I can find. I'll look for the bottles. There's a big key ring down there. There may be a key to the gas pump on it. I'll check. We can toss the cocktails from a window upstairs. In the meantime, a couple of us can go out and try to get the gas and come back for the rest of the people. But that'll leave a door open someplace. Yeah, that's right. 
Better be this door. It's closer to the truck. Before we go out, we'll put some supplies behind the cellar door. While we're gone, the rest of you can hold up in there. I found some fruit jars in the cellar. And there's a key on here that's labeled for the gas pump out back. Damn, this guy's good. Uh, All right. Not really that used to the truck. I found it abandoned. I can handle the truck, no sweat. You're it, then. You and I'll go. We'll put whatever lumber we find behind the cellar door. You can go upstairs and toss the cocktails from a window. Tom, you and I will have to unboard this door. After you toss the cocktails, you hustle back down here and lock this door. It's no good to board it up because we'll have to get back in quickly. After we get the gas and get back into the house, then we'll worry about getting everybody into the truck. Now let's move it. All right, it's a pretty straightforward plan. Straightforward plan, but how many of them are out there right now? That's the problem. Well, sorry that, I don't really trust Harry over here to do a good no. job. Oh, dude, he's so untrustworthy. He's the kind of guy I could think of dropping the cocktail in the floor and setting himself on fire. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. You always have a smile for me. How can you smile like that all the time? How many do you have done? Come on, honey, we gotta move. Tom, are you sure about the phone? The phone is dead out. All you get is a recorded message. If I could only call the folks, they're going to be so worried about us. Everything will be all right. As soon as we get to Willard, we'll call them. They might even be there. I know. Or dead. Or dead. Tom, mm. are you sure we're doing the right thing, Tom? What, about getting out of here? Yeah. Well, the television said that's the right thing to do. We've got to get to a rescue station. I don't know. Come on, honey. You're starting to sound like Mr. Cooper now. But why do you have to go out there? Look, I know how to handle that truck. And I can handle the pump. Ben doesn't know anything about that stuff. But we're safe in here. For how long, honey? We're safe now. But there's going to be more and more of those things. I know. I know all that. <sighs> hey, listen. Remember? when we had the big flood. Remember how difficult it was for us to convince you that it was right to leave. Remember? Remember we had to go to Willard then? This isn't a passing thing, honey. It, it's not like just a wind passing through. We've got to do something, and fast. All right. My man. I just don't want you to go out there, that's all. Oh, man. Hey, smiley. Where's that big smile for me? Yo, it's gonna suck if he dies, Why? man. Oh, oh shit. I'll be upset. Dude. You're sure no use at all, are you? We've got work to do. Me and you. You. That's it, man. That's how we do it. Hey, man. Okay. Oh, man. I'm worried about him now because I feel like that's just like a death flag raised. Yep. I agree. Downstairs. We have to go downstairs now, Barbara. She's right. You have to go downstairs now, just for a little while, until we get back. Then we can all leave. Oh, I'd like to leave. Yes. Yeah, he knocked the fucking sense out of her. Oh my god. It had nothing to do with his hit, man. She's mentally, like, out of it. I'm sure the hit didn't help. <laughs> well, maybe not. No. It probably did not. Ooh, the hammer. Let's go. Yeah. Why don't they take the wood and maybe make some torches and go out with a torch? Right? That would be very brilliant. Come on, Harry. Take your anchor out on these fucking zombies. Yeah, light them up. You ready upstairs? Yeah. Okay, toss them. 
Yeah, he's got the torch. My man. All right. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Harry. Fire scary. Ooh, bang. Oh, it got him. Oh, shit, one of them's gone. Uh, <laughs> see ya, buddy. Oh, if he fell into the truck and they stood on fire. <laughs> that would suck so hard. He just stripped him! Oh, jeez, there's a lot of them. I'm going with him. No, Judy, you... Judy, you idiot, no! Oh my god, Judy, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Oh! A little higher. That's right, show them you got fire. Oh, you got him! Oh, set that one up in flames. gonna peek. All right. They're lucky that they're slow. Come on. This key won't work. Watch it. Whoa! He shot the... Dude. Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Ah, oh, shit! Don't tell me they go boom. Wait. Oh, Judy! Oh, fuck it! Holy fuck! What? I did not think things would go that bad! down I can't believe that dude I'm still completely shocked by that so Tom and Judy have been Oh, come on, man. Don't do this. Save him! He'll remember this. All right, Cooper. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. 
So now they're pretty much fucked. Yeah, because now they can't really get out. They lost the car. The, the gas is just a no-go. Two people are gone, too, so that's... Well, less mouths to feed. Let's look at the positive, but my god. Jeez, I still can't believe that! Holy no, uh... shit! Oh my god, okay, dude, I think... Okay, how... don't beat the shit out of them. Like... I think he's learned his lesson. I dragged you out there and feed you those things. I mean, he has every right to be pissed off, though. Oh yeah, it, it took him too long to get it to. Uh... Eating them now. A little overcooked, but hey, I'm sure they don't care. I'm sure they like it well done. Whoa! Whoa! Intestines. Oh! Yummy! Oh, they just have the hand there. <laughs> ah! Eating them fingers! Eating them hands. Okay, what's the plan now? The only thing I could possibly think is backtracking for where Barbara came from and taking her car. Mmm. That's literally the only thing I can think but of. She should have the keys to it. Isn't it three o'clock yet? There's supposed to be another broadcast at three o'clock. Ten minutes. Oh, only ten more minutes? We don't have very long to wait. We can leave. Oh, well, we better leave soon. It's ten minutes to three. You know anything about this area at all? I mean, is Willie the nearest town? I don't know. We were... just trying to get to a motel before dark. You say those things turned your car over. You think we can get it back on its wheels and drive it? Where is it? Seems like it was pretty far away. Seems like we ran. Forget it. It's at least a mile. Johnny has the keys. You gonna carry that child a mile? Through that army of things out there? I can carry the kid. What's wrong with her? How'd she get hurt? One of those things grabbed her. Bit her on the arm. What's wrong? Ah! Yes, what kind of disease those things carry? Is she conscious? Barely. She can't walk. She's too weak. Well, one of us could try to get to the car. You're gonna turn it over by yourself? You have a car? Where? Where is it? You won't be able to start it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but where is it? <laughs> oh, Kay, they're playing around with some uh, organs. Yeah, he's having a good time. Good Lord. closely by scientists at all the radiation detection stations. At this hour, they report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. So long as this situation remains, government spokesmen warn that dead bodies will continue to be transformed into the flesh-eating ghouls. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims unless their bodies are first disposed of by cremation. Our news cameras have just returned 
from covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls. This one conducted by Sheriff Conan McClellan in Butler County, Pennsylvania. So now let's go to that film report. All law enforcement agencies and the military have been organized to search out and destroy the marauding ghouls. The Survival Command Center cool. at the Pentagon has All disclosed right, nice. that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Officials are quoted as explaining that since the brain of a ghoul has been activated by the radiation, the plan is kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. Hmm. Anything from the supply wagon, Gus? Uh, no, we're all right. Okay. Hey, Cass, put that thing all the way in the fire. We don't want it getting up again. Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. Those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. There was no. We heard them making all kind of noise. We came over and beat them off, blasted them down. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, okay. Chief, uh, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Well, Chief McClellan, how long do you think it will take you until you get the situation under control? Well, that's pretty hard to say. We don't know how many of them there are. We know when we find them, we can kill them. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're all messed up. Well, uh, in time, <laughs> would you say you ought to be they're all messed up, up, up in 24 hours? Well, we don't really know. We know we'll be into it most of the night, probably into the early morning. We're working our way toward Willard, and we'll team up with the National Guard over there, and then we'll be able to give a more definite view. Thank you very much, Chief McClellan. This is Bill Cardill, WIC TV 11 News. Thank you, Bill, for that report. Official spokesmen declined to speculate just how long it may take to kill off all the flesh eaters. So long as the heavy rain... Oh, shit. Can they turn off power? What? Is the fuse box in the cellar? I don't know. I... It isn't the fuse. The power lines are down. Helen? I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? Well, two people are dead already on account of that guy. Take a look out that window. Get... Uh-oh, rock time. Oh, no. They're using tools. Shit, they're coming. Yeah, they've had enough. They're like, hey, we want more of those organs. We're hungry. You can't turn down a customer. <laughs> oh, Harry, you stupid, stupid idiot. Don't do something dumb. Harry, do something. Your wife is literally doing something. Oh God, Harry. Oh, you sack of shit, Harry. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god, you don't want to fight, buddy. Whoa! He don't take no shit! Oh my god, he did- He literally smoked him! Oh, they're grabbing her. Oh, see ya, Helen. Oh, my Harry. 
Oh, is he going to change as well? What do you do? Uh, you're... She's just gonna... Oh, shit, Ellen. Oh, okay! okay. Yep. No way! Oh shit! What the fuck? Wow. That's gotta suck, dude. Digging away. Yeah, dude, what the fuck do you do now? Alright, Barbara, you gotta get away. Oh my god, she's getting swarmed. Oh shit, he's back. Yeah. Oh, that door kit, or that window, I don't know. Oh. Oh shit! It's Johnny. Yo, smoke Johnny! Get him! Smoke him! Oh, they're taking her. Oh no, man, come on, not you too. What the fuck do you do? Oh fuck, he swarmed. In the end, he's down there now. Wow, I did not think things would go this bad. No, I didn't either. What do you do now? It's very ironic how in the end he had to go in the cellar. Yeah, just blast him in the head real quick, the two of them. Give him three, hates him.
He tried so hard to survive. Not just that, he tried so hard to keep them alive too, right? Helicopter. Rescue? survived. Oh, doggies. Alright, we got the dogs out. Hey, Vince, now. We want to get about four or five men and a couple dogs. There's a house over here behind those trees. We want to go check it out. Frank, you go here, Bill. Yeah, Chief. We're going to stay with it till we meet up with the National Guard. Where'd you get the coffee? One of the volunteers. You're doing all the work. You take it. Thank you. We should be wrapped nice. up here about three or four more hours. We'll probably get into Willard then. I guess you can go over there and meet the National Guard. Nick, you and the rest of these men want to come with me? No, Bill, I'm going to check in the office see what's happening. All right, Steve. Tell them we're going to stay with it and... Uh, Everything appears to be under control. Oh! Shit, the dogs know. They need you down there by the barn. Okay. I need you guys to pull the wagon down. I only need a few men to check out the house. <coughs> Somebody had a cook out here, Vince. Yeah, it sure looks like it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What a good one. Oh damn, bye. He's gotta be careful though, what if they shoot him? Whoa, he's gone. He's a dead one. Get up here. Nick, Tony, Steve, you want to get out in that field and build me a bonfire? Jeez, man, that house got fucked. You, drag that out of here and throw it on the fire. Nothing down here? All right, go ahead down and give him a hand. Go check out the house. I hear something in there. I heard a noise. All right, then. Hit him in the head. Right between the eyes. No! Good shot. Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire.
No fucking way! What a way to end it! Wow! Wow! I did... You know what? I was thinking, what if they did shoot him, right? But I didn't think it would actually happen. Wow. Alright, we gotta talk about this. So we just finished watching Night of the Living Dead. You know what? Good movie. Very good movie. Very good. I was actually very impressed with it. And it's interesting, like we mentioned many times watching, how the zombies, they weren't dumb. They were using tools. Not that. It's just like they weren't, you know, brain dead. No. It's probably like that. They're not brain dead. They're actually, it's as if, yes, they're dead, but they still are aware that they are humans and they know how tools and doors and things work in a sense, right? They just don't have the brain capacity to fully use them. But they still know they can pick it up and hit things, right? Or how doors work and stuff like that. It was, it was actually amazing, dude, to see that. Yeah, like, modern day zombies are usually very stupid, dumbed down to a degree where they just... Tools don't even exist. Like, they're so stupid. Like, Ugh. Yeah, it's either they're the really fast zombies that sprint and move around. I don't or... like those ones much. No, those ones, those ones freak the shit out of me. But, like... Then you have the zombies that are just stupidly slow, and they're just dumb. They just like mm, they shamble around. There's not much to them. I kind of like the fact that these zombies had some form of intelligence. Yeah, because it makes sense. Because they were human not so long ago. Yeah. So it makes sense they would grasp some essence of what they were. Yeah. And I, I, I kind of liked that actually. That was really cool. And like it, the the fact that they thought like some of them would take bricks and throw it at windows and stuff like that. I was like, wow. That's fucking weird. Might I also add that Ben was just a perfect fucking protagonist? Dude, they cheated him so bad with that death I did not end. expect that they would I, literally I, all I, fucking die. I, you know what? I've never seen that before. You know, I've never seen that kind of ending before for like a movie like this. I didn't... It pissed me off. It kind of annoyed me. Because Ben deserved to fucking live. That guy worked his ass off to survive yeah and constantly 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 people just kept fucking up on him Yo, so man. incompetent dude, man harry oh my god dude i'm so glad harry died you know what the oh. best part of this movie is when ben shot harry holy fuck i was like about well, well deserved. fucking time well deserved this guy's been an asshole since but again very ironic how harry was right the whole time that was actually pretty funny. Yeah. He I ended up in the cellar in the end. The, the cellar was the safest place. Help did come. All they had to do was sit in but the cellar. But then again, it showed. Both Harry and Ben had a lot of pride. And in True. themselves. They weren't that different, the two of them. They were not different at all, in fact. No. No, both of them had the right ideas. And if they combined each other with each other and they really if worked they were together. Able, that was the thing. If they were would, able to get along... You know, kind of sort out their differences and just work together. Things probably would have went a lot better. Not just that, but Judy fucked up hard. If Judy wasn't there, they would not have died in a car explosion. That was fucking stupid. It was just because of Judy being incompetent. No, nah, she shouldn't have been there. It was just, it, it was just an unnecessary addition to the to what they were doing. They messed up the whole entire thing. That was it. Yeah, and you know, Tom had to try and save her. If she wasn't there, yeah. Tom could have got away. Honestly, Tom was. Tom and Ben are such good characters. I really liked them a lot. Barbara, who fucking cares? All right? I'm actually very, like, upset with that. I felt Barbara was just incredibly useless. Oh, she was, but I think she was just mentally distraught. You know, because her brother I, died. I, and I feel like she she I, couldn't under, get the... She couldn't grasp that concept. I, I could get problem. it, but I just felt like she was just, like annoyingly useless you know no but then again you have to think she mentally snapped that was it mentally she fucking snapped that's it okay you know not everyone's gonna handle the situation well and she was the key example of that sure you know but it was incredibly frustrating oh yeah for sure but there's nothing you could do about it and in the end she gets eaten by johnny <laughs> yeah 
Pretty oh much. my god, what are the chances of that? Yeah, Johnny comes back and he's like, let's go. Oh, but I liked it. I generally like this movie, and not just that, but uh, the acting from especially Ben... Not even just Ben. I thought even Harry. I think Ben and Harry. Ben and Harry were even weird. Helen. Helen was great too. Yeah, Helen was great too. Barbara Tom was, was a little weird. Tom, uh, he was a bit weird here and there. But I, I genuinely liked this character though. I thought it was a really good character. Yeah, you know, very good guy overall. But yeah, the the acting like it's in the what is the seven sixties. 60s and they have very good acting some some acting that's better than what we see today which is very sad might i add because with years you expect things to get better but that's not the case some, nowadays sometimes curse you swing and you miss modern days you miss a lot it's not that bad modern days but no like, but i mean for, it, for this concept of film i'm actually impressed with it like, it was just really good yeah. I, I really enjoyed it and like i said ben was the perfect main like protagonist for it I really liked that he was really, like, he was really gun ho He was like, okay, was I know what like, to do. No, it's like, he was strong, he took charge, he didn't take shit. You know, the perfect protagonist, no? And that's why I feel like he deserved to live, and I hate the way they killed him. It, it, it kind of annoys to me. To be fair, he should have said something. Oh, 100%, it's his fault you, he got you blasted. Hear, you hear gunshots outside. Yeah. But you should have been like, hey, I'm here, hello, people with guns. Yeah, I, I I don't get that. He just he should like, have screamed, "I'm alive!" He just walks up to the window, slowly shambling to it with his gun pointed. Guys, like, oh, it's one of those guys! Boom, 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 and he's gone. Yeah, God, that's I can't believe that. Oh yeah, I shit! Just, I didn't like how that. I just, you know what, man? When this movie came out, imagine all the minds. I feel like so many of these old movies. I think I, I try to put my sh my like my. my Put myself in the shoes of the people who saw this for the first time. Especially, at the time. especially with this, with the it's just the concept of the, uh, an idea that people dying, coming back, and their purpose is just to eat your flesh. Yeah, like showing off the intestines, they're eating the arms, the spleen, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I can't for imagine it to actually be visualized. I guarantee you, yeah. the story. There's probably written books and stuff like that before this movie was made of this kind of thing. I don't think so. No, they, this was like the the uh, this originated the idea of no, zombies? But yeah, is there no folklore or something that's similar well, that could Maybe, have, like, but this was like the first zombie movie, I believe. That's that, what I'm saying, it was the first time it was visualized. No, but it was done different like because it was like radiation or something from space or some you shit. You know, I didn't expect the space kind of uh, aspect to it. No. That was kind of weird. I was just like usually in zombie movies it's either like a, a mutation or something like that like well, it's, just, it's the same way. It's radiation well, chemicals. No, but usually from space. it's like man made. It was like a fuck up in a laboratory or some shit, you know? Kind of similar, right? No, I'm kidding. But, uh, you know, it's stuff like that. I've, I don't. I guarantee there's many movies, zombie movies, that have done that before about it being like space related, but that's it's my first time seeing space related that caused the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was an interesting idea. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm very impressed with how well, I, like, the movie was. I don't know. I, I was just, you know what? I, I really liked Ben, but I have to say my favorite character is Johnny. My God, was that guy fucking <laughs> funny, dude. I wish we got more Johnny, dude, dude. Can you imagine Johnny throughout that whole thing? He'd just be fucking complaining. Oh, we dude, have got to board up the windows. Dude, oh, he, man. He's going to be complaining. He's going to be sarcastic. Oh, my God. I, I would have loved more Johnny, dude. The guy was a fucking asshole, but I loved him. He's so funny. I think Johnny would have been a great balance to have continuing through the story. I would have loved seeing him just complain and whine about everything. <laughs> dude, what an ass, dude. I like him. I did, too. He was so funny. No, uh, overall, good movie, though. Like, I wish there was more I could really talk about, but there's not much more to talk about no, this movie. Like I said, I'm impressed with how much I liked it, because like, considering the time and everything, and the budget as well, might we add... It's not, it wasn't like a super high budget film, you know, for its, in general. But like, it just it did so well. Just to like, I like movies that kind of can make it so interesting taking place in one specific area. Yeah, like, that's hard to do. One primary location. That's it. It doesn't yeah. go anywhere else. Yeah, and it, the, a, a lot of. Uh... A lot of films can't just stay in one place. It's no. very hard to make one place interesting. The only other movie I can think of that comes to the top of my head is we watched it on the Patreon for someone. It was Moon. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Remember yeah. that? It all took place in one area, but it's so well written that it didn't have to adventure anywhere else. That's, and it was just so interesting. Yeah, the lack of adventure, the lack of exploration doesn't really bother you because the story is so interesting. Mm -hmm, the characters are good. I don't know. Uh, like I said, it's a great film. I, can, I understand why 
it, it's as like classic as it is. I'm wondering if this was like the first time in film where everyone literally dies in the end. I don't know, dude, but like I because can't believe that. It. Was, that I, I, I had a feeling, and just seeing it happen. Dude, it, like, as soon as I saw like the, the the people walking up with the guns and shooting, I even called it out because I got very worried. And I was like, there's no way they would give that kind of ending to Ben. They would not give such a cheap ending to Ben. They fucking did it, man. My, he had the balls to do it. I think also for the time, having a lead who was black was must have been monumental as well. Oh, was this like a first time? Well, yeah, dude. In the 60s, and especially the film being black white, you think it was very common? I don't... Uh, because I don't, the rest of the cast was... Everyone was white. Ben is oh, literally the yeah, only you're right. person who's black. You're right. Honestly. And you know what was also... What I also like really respected for the time it came out? They never acknowledged it. You're right. No, they never. They never made it. They never. They they, never made an issue of his race. Yeah, they never made it like a big deal or whatnot. They never, as you said, they never acknowledged it. They never called it out. It's just like he's just another man. Yeah, which I was really interesting for the time. You know what? I did pick up on that, but you're fucking right. For the sixties, yeah, incredible. Well, you know, nowadays it's like this is normal shit, but like back then, that's actually incredibly impressive. Yeah. Like, that was something I caught on. I'm like, wow. Like, I, I kept waiting for someone to call him the N-word. I'll be quite honest. I was like, Harry's going to do it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'll be honest. Harry just seemed like the kind of guy you know who what? would. He's white, he's mad, and he's bald. He has everything in his he has everything in his power to say it. But you're right. He never did it. Yeah, and I was actually really you know, impressed I, by that. For the time it came out, like, wow. You know, the entire movie, I'm not even kidding you, I never really, I just didn't think about it. Because I'm just watching it. I didn't think that far into it. I was just watching the movie. I just, I, like, yeah. I, I honestly thought of it afterwards. I was just like thinking like, wow, that was actually, uh, it, I just kind of connect the dots. Yeah, that was the thing. I didn't, I didn't put two and two together. I wasn't really thinking about that. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, but it was impressive. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. I, I just think all in all, it was just a really good film. I, I really loved it. I think like, um. I'm probably gonna have to go watch uh, the Cinemasker one where he goes to the commentary. Oh, I would lo- now. I would love to watch that. That's I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, I'm gonna watch that tomorrow again. Though I gotta put Ben on like my top tier protagonists of like any survival horror kind of stuff. Curtis, what you still have to watch Event Horizon? Yeah. Oh, that's why is that? Is he better? Lawrence Fishburne is his character better than Ben? I don't know. But we I, can use I just terms. I really liked Ben because of this no taking shit attitude. You have to watch Event Horizon. I think we'll try and do that, but we'll see. But uh, on that note, guys, we're gonna end it. We're rambling too much. We're going too long. Oh, how, how long is it? It's a like, Whoa! Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, this it, we're is talking. a long one. Yeah. So um, we love you all. Thank you for everything. It was fun to do this as our little Halloween special. Yeah. I hope we you guys... were planning this for the longest of time. We, we are so super excited to actually get it done. Like this is something we've been planning for the longest of time. Yeah. I honestly still want to watch Dawn of the Dead. I don't. Oh, the original? Yes. Yeah, I've seen the remake. Yeah, the remake. I like the remake. It's the not remake bad. The remake is good, but. I want to see the original now. I do too. I don't know if we're going to do it anytime soon, but it will be happening. I really want to watch it. We might just pop it out somewhere around November. Or, just throw, it, or just throw it up on the Patreon. I don't know. We're going to watch it anyways. We'll figure it out, guys. That's it from us. We're going to go and peace out like the cast of this fucking film. I was going to say it, dude. We're got peacing you. out like the, the whole entire cast of this entire movie, all right? Right now, actually. See ya, Ben. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. Bye. Pow! <laughs>